Now I'm delighted to be joined here at Bishop's Gate by the Longford manager Dara Doyle. And Dara, 1-0 down at the break, on the back of losing 3-0 to Bray on Friday night. Things didn't seem to be looking good, even though Longford didn't deserve to be down at the break. But I have to say, the second half display was outstanding. What did you say to the players in the dressing room at halftime? Listen, you're, you're right. Um, the first half, I don't think we deserve to be down. It was probably even-ish. I thought we probably had the slightly the better of it than one or two chances. Um, when we went to the half, half time, it was a case of telling the players, listen, we shouldn't be down. It was a mistake in our part where we were caught ball watching, they get in behind us and they finish well. Um, so it was more a case of saying to the players to believe in what we were doing, that we need to go out there and, sh and, sh and social. And we really did. We really did. The lads went out there in the second half and the performance was excellent. We could have been... We could have probably had two penalties, the keeper tipped one around the post, we could have scored five or six goals. So it was just a case of telling them, listen, it's a huge half to where we want to be after this game. Because after the defeat last week to Bray, we needed a result tonight, we really did. And if we hadn't got it tonight, we would have been right in a, in a real mix with teams around us. As it is, it's still close and we mentioned that with the league as it was. But the win tonight gives us gives us a real boost with, with the performance and the intensity and the relentless that's, that the lads played in the second half because I really thought they were superb to a man and the one or two subs that came on as well added to, um, to the result. Yeah, Carl Chambers, he came on and he, Aaron McKay came on as well, he's often uh, had a pivotal role yeah. to play as a super sub. But this time I thought Carl Chambers was outstanding and impact sub that made a massive difference when he came on. No, he was. Listen, Carl's a, he's, he's a great lad and a great player. He's been around for the years. And listen, he's, he's, he's someone that he's possibly been a little unfortunate sometimes not to get the games that he, that he, he would have hoped to. But he's come on and made a real, real impact there tonight. He's caused them problems with his, with his energy, with his quality, with getting around the pitch, getting there and supporting Rob. And um, he done really well, like you say. So really happy with his contribution when he came on. Plus Aaron McCabe comes on. He's been great for us, you'd see, over the last period of games where he's come on and he's actually won his points. So... He's a, he's a great player to call on as well. I'm really happy with his, his performance and added to the, to the result. Yeah, and Shane L. Worthy, a brilliant, terrific uh, defensive display and uh, chipping in with that crucial equalising goal, first of the season. Yeah, no, listen, it, it was great and it, it was probably something we said at half-time. He's, he's probably got done down the, down the side and he's come back up good with getting us the, that goal in the second half and um, we, we really pushed on after that, so it's delighted for Shane. And Adam Evans, I thought he, he was very disciplined this, e uh, this evening. He uh, attacked down the flank uh, at the right time, but when he needed to hold back and defend, he did an excellent job backtracking and defending as well. Yeah, he's, he's, been, he's been great. He's come in the last five games and he's been great. You mentioned his work rate and, and it's, it's superb. And obviously himself and Shane have certain roles mm -hmm. when, we're, when, we're, when we're defending in the opposition half, they need to be in certain positions. When we're in their half, we expect them to be in certain positions. But... What it comes down to is really hard work when you're in them positions and he's done it brilliantly over the last week and I'm delighted with him this evening. Now in several games, Longford Town should have been a couple of goals more ahead than they were at half-time. In particular, we're looking at the draw of the game and then we're made to pay for a sluggish start to second half. There was no sluggish start to second half this evening, out of the block straight away. Yeah, no, like I said, it was, it was great and it was relentless and the intensity was, was really up there. And, I've said it to the lads, we want to carry that on now going into the game on Friday against Athlone. It's, it's another massive game, we're taking them one at a time and listen, we need to get a result, should we do that, we'll, we'll see how the league table looks then. Sam Verdon came off, is that just a precaution because he's just back from injury? and Yeah, just, just yeah. back, he's obviously had the calf injuries come on and again, he's contributed with a goal, I think that takes Sam up to five now as well, so... Um, no, he's, he's, he's always does put in a performance on for you and he's, he's someone that you can trust and depend on so when we knew he was back and available for selection we were delighted to be able to give him the opportunity to go back in and he's repaid, repaid the faith that we've showed in him with his performance and with a goal. Just looking at the results tonight, Bray very impressive with the 2-1 winner uh, against uh, Cove yeah. and Galway, 10-man Galway yeah. for a lot of the second half. Getting the last gas winner away to Kevin Teeley. Kevin Teeley are slipping up a good bit, but Galway are making some charge from out of nowhere. Yeah, no, like you say, they have made a surge. I think if that's five wins in a row they have now, and they've, they've got a number of late goals in those games. And like I said, they were down to 10 minutes, and I think Ludden was sent off. Mm. So, listen, it's a fabulous result for them at Kevin Teeley going to win in the game there. Um, and it's close all around us, it really is. You still have, like I say, Cove and the Hills. UCD are still three points behind us. You have Drogheda to play Shamrock Rovers tomorrow evening. Um, so it'll be interesting to watch that and, and you don't know what team Rovers are going to play in that game tomorrow with the first team having played tonight and that's that's what you get with a Rovers B team in it when, mm. when the first team have played the day before that you don't know who's going to play the next the next night so um, 
you know, draw the playing brain at the weekend and every game is a massive game That's and right. you, you just it's it's been really tough to tell what way the results are gonna go. Um and like we need to look after ourselves and make sure we get the result we need and if we do that we're, we're gonna be in the mix in some way. Dara, thank you. Thanks, man.